of the world. And it's brought to you live on Sky Sports Box Office and exclusively to America on Showtime. Sponsored by BetSafe, StubHub, and JD Sports. Let's welcome to the scales, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger and champion. First up, the challenger. Undefeated as a professional, 21 fights, 21 victories, 18 by knockout. He's from DeSoto, Texas, USA, the undefeated IBF, number one ranked challenger in the world, Errol, the true Spence Jr. Everybody expects no surprise that Errol is... The Truth, Spence Jr. gets the reception that he has. Kelbrook, of course, very, very popular in these parts, the hometown boy. They call him The Truth, Sean, but is he the real deal? I think he certainly is the truth. Uh, he has a lot of abilities. He's been fighting since he was a kid. He's wanted this moment since he was a kid. So I think something special could happen tomorrow night. What does he have to do? How does he have to dictate this fight against a very, very dangerous fighter like Kelbrook? He's got to keep the fight clean. He has to make every round decisive that it's him winning. That means going after uh, Kelbrook, applying a lot of pressure, and also being smart and being defensive-minded. Uh, and just listen to the roar as the local boy makes his way out onto the scales. All of the lights blaring on the speakers and a tremendous reception for Kelbrook. Thousands have turned out here in Sheffield in the sunshine. Undefeated as a professional, 21 fights, 21 victories, 18 by knockout. Ranked number one in the world by the IBF. Earl, the truth. Spence Jr. So the challenger, the first man on the scales. A welterweight limit, of course, 10 stone 7, 147 pounds. There has been an awful lot of talk as to whether or not both of these fighters are going to be able to make that limit. Here we go. And he's just in by the looks of things. We await confirmation. So Errol Spence nicely inside the welterweight limit. Now, of course, the big test as we see Kelbrook taking to the scales. certainly in terms of his physique he looks incredible that is no surprise and he is inside the limit as well so all the questions have been answered both fighters have managed to come in inside the welterweight limit and they both look look really well up to this point, I thought the weight was going to be a massive issue uh, for Kel. Actually, uh, I didn't realise that Brooke has, uh, uh, Spence has also got the issue. But these two guys are big world's weights, big units. Wait till they've refueled, wait till tomorrow night. They'll both look at a size above them. They'll both look like stoke middleweights, you know, because these guys have got a big frame. But this is now about skill. The hard work's been done. All the work in the gym, all the work in preparation, all the tactics, that's been done. Look at the physique of both these fighters. They are like <laughs> supreme race cars. They just want to fight. Spence is a little bit taller, longer reach. And that means he'll have, a, he'll have a sharper stance. He doesn't usually use his reach that well as, as a, as a southpaw, but he's got excellent speed, excellent body shots, excellent variety. Kel, a good authentic fire. He needs to use his power, and that's what he's going to depend on. This is business. This is nasty. This is business with these boys. A few last words being exchanged between the two of them. Errol Spence had a smile on his face a little earlier, but Kelbrook has come on with what looks like a very, very serious business face. He is ready to go. They both are now. 
for Saturday night at Bramall Lane. 27,000 will be packed in as Kelbrook, having been up at middleweight, comes down to welterweight. And one last roar of the crowd as Kelbrook excites and delights his fans ahead of what should be a terrific fight here on Saturday night. Sean, you had a good look at both of them on the scales. What did you make of just how ripped and ready these guys look? I saw exactly what I hoped to see, what I thought I would see. Both guys are ready. When they're ready, that means they're both going to perform at their best. And uh, they're going to pull it all out of each other tomorrow night. This is going to be a great fight. Hard to choose a winner. Both guys have it in them to win this fight. I'm looking forward to it. Errol Spence looks very relaxed there with a big smile on his face as the two of them started with the head-to-head -head shot. But Kel Brook looks mean, moody, and businesslike. Yeah, and, and as he should. You know, Errol Spence should look comfortable. He should be ready for this opportunity. If he weren't, he wouldn't have traveled all this way for it. And on the opposite end, you got Kel Brook in his own backyard. He can't do anything but feel good about this turnout and feel good about tomorrow night. It's going to be electric.